Hi everybody, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. So we're going to discuss today creating a YouTube API that you can go in and pull data out of relating to video information. You've got to remember that this is relating to videos that are connected to your Gmail accounts specifically. So let's take a look at that. But we need to do some settings and setups first before we can go and do to the next steps. And that'll be the next video onwards. Okay, so... Uh, YouTube have given some very good documentation on this, okay? Uh, I'm going to follow these steps, I'm going to show them to you, and then I'll put this link to this particular uh, web page in the, the description of the, of the video when I upload it, okay? So it, but that says to you first, you need to create a Google account, grant. If you haven't got a Google account, you need to create one. That's pretty straightforward. Um, this will take you through the steps. Then you need to create a project. So I've already created one, but I'll just go into this, all right? If we go here, let's just go back here. So I've already created a project here. So more than likely, I've created a couple, actually. So when if you haven't created any, this will probably be blank and will probably prompt you to create a new project. So essentially, if you just click this new project here, all you're doing, gonna do is give it a particular project name associated with an organization, whatever you feel that is, if that's related to you. I haven't populated. Um, but that's up to you, okay? Um, so I'm just going to click cancel, cancel. So in this instance, we've created. Now we have a project created, right? If we go back here, it basically says you need to obtain authorization credentials. Now what that is, is if we go down here, okay, to this uh, part of this page, okay? There's two bits you need to do. You need to create the API key here, okay? And you need to create this OAuth 2.0 client IDs. Now, two very important bits. This basically authorizes, helps to authorize the actual access into the data. This is used in a file that when I show you a bit at the end to actually, when you're going in to actually pull the data, it actually pulls information out of this file and uses it as a security measure to check who you are. So very important that you create these two, but also don't disclose the information in them and what's in them. Um, okay, it's personal to you and your your API. So at this point, what we've done is we've created the project, we've created the, the authorization credentials, that being the API, as you said, and the OAuth client IDs, okay? Um, then you've created the project, you basically also then need to go in, um, you basically need to go into the API console. So I think this enable API pages, no, it's not in here. So we need to go into the API console, okay? Well, what we need to do is add in an API that we're going to use to get the data, right? Okay, so when you go into this particular API console, which is this link here that I clicked, okay, you're going to be presented with this, right? As you can see, it's got the project number 63715, but what you want to do is you want to go into, is it this link here? I'll tell you now. Um, oh yes, we want to go into enable APIs and services, okay? Okay, so you want to be on this page, all right? And what this is, is a list of APIs that you can access um, through your account and through the setups that you do, the API keys and the credentials that you set up. There's a load of them here, so have a look around. I'm not going to be using one of these. Well, I'm going to use, I might look at some of them in the future, but the one that I have clicked, I'm using as part of this video series is this one. Now I'm going to go in and show you something. Um, I'll actually show it to you what it looks like. I'm not going to use this one, but once you go in, what you're going to do is click the enable button. And what that basically does is, once you click the enable button, it then links it to this project, okay? And then when you're building APIs, you can just tell it which API you want to use, but it adds it to the project, okay? Now, I'm not going to use this API, but what I have done, I have done that particular enable, click that enable button here. And then basically what you do see is you see now API enabled. So now it knows that this API that you want to use is attached to this project, okay? And then you can start, use that API to extract certain pieces of data. All right. So at this point, what we've done is we've enabled the, we've created a project, we've created the authorization, the API and the OAuth, data um we've gone back into the api console and then we've gone into this enable apis page okay 
and made sure that the one that we want the api that we want to use that youtube has provided for us is available okay um so at this point we have the settings set up now all i'm going to show you for the moment is basically that in python which is i'm going to be using for this this logic here okay is actually supplied by google and you can use it uh, you need to configure it for your own settings it does um in part of the setup you create what you call as a client secret file json so you place it somewhere where the this application can access it and then when it runs it pulls some of that api key and the OAuth credential information which is contained within that file and use it to validate it with the youtube system to connect your data i've run this already um here's the output of i basically run it for this video here is the output of actually what it's giving me um and i'll see if i can show you some information as what it gives so what it's given here for example is some duration information dimension definition so it's high definition is there any captions is it false uh, any license content protect okay so statistics gives information on this particular now this is a short i think i did when i ran this as only nine views has anybody liked it no disliked so on and so forth so there's a lot of information in the actual youtube system that they provide through these apis that you can use to pull out and use it for what you want i'm going to be doing a lot more work using this api to pull out information um, these will be revealed at a future date but for the moment this was just a good introduction that if you want to set up an api how do you go about doing it and what are the different steps um, if you have any questions just leave a comment i'll get back to you as soon as i can um, getting back into the youtube videos now and um, thanks for watching and we'll catch you soon take care goodbye